Shit gets ultra violent and needless when pussies aren't built up. They're all kicking when you're down and mistreating the old people. And I've got to admit that it worries me a bit when I see my friend smiling with his eyes all red. Working at the abattoir is not some strange trip, a broken caravan in a backyard with a bomb beside his bed. A perfect when a sunny day wastes outside while he sits on Daytura and watches another store sequel. Is it the imaginary killings or the stripping of hides that makes the law in his own medic so positively evil? To get your way through this life and not end as graffiti on an abandoned shed, reading Rip Bro too young to be dead. You've got to find a way, you've got to find a theory, you've got to keep your thoughts clean and rope out of your head. Like a rat in a lab looking through glass and a snake, I live a life of being irregular. And the stress is giving me the shakes. Baby Kai Kai, domestic fists, sit down, money under mango trees. My mind goon drunk, my chest sun drunk, pass another doob and turn off the radio. We all feel good, I love this part. And they could never tear us apart. Mountain <laughs> <laughs> waterfalls and the pools we used to fish in. Bomb smoke breaking sunbeams in an old asbestos shack. Out bush we'd inhale heat and weed instead of eating. Sometimes I hate being sober, sometimes I wish I could come back. But I found a righteous saviour outside of school she hated. That's how a teen cancer hotspot does lay its rightful claim. When you're young and in love, small things can seem faded, so we packed up a car and escaped out escaped out the way we came. We headed for the coast past memorials and sheds and ditches, where those who died in hell no longer were in pain. No more to live in mourning, no more to scratch their itches. On white crosses and faded photos, in prison there are saints. And though I left and got away, my memory still rings clear. On the time when Jimmy's crop got found, and we knew at home they'd be raised in hell. When we stepped out from the trees where we'd been smoking, the cool breeze felt so good against our skin that we had no choice but to run against it. So we ran home to trouble.